you have money, you can buy anything. Today I have a haul video for you. This haul is from the Soul trip that I took a few weeks ago. I went with Sarah from Glow Recipe and we basically had a girly beauty trip on steroids. So if you followed my Instagram stories at the time, you would have gotten a glimpse of all the shenanigans we got up to and I still was able to fit in a little bit of shopping because it would have been criminal not to have done any. So usually with my hauls, I'll do a first impression where I can. But if you are interested in a more in-depth review on any of these items, please put them in the comments down below and I'll do it. So where I can, I will leave the links below for where you might be able to find them in the, in the US. So I'm gonna start off with this luxury item right here. I started using this the minute I got it and you've seen it appear in a lot of my beauty routines on Instagram. This is one of Amore Pacific's newest items and it's their vintage single extract essence. It turns out that this is 100% fermented green tea extract. So this extract has been aged for over 100 days, the first 50 days. Um, it's fermented where the green tea leaves are grown, then it's transferred to a clay pot where it's aged for additional 50 days. They found that this process after 100 days gave the leaves maximum EGCG potency. So as I've discussed in my earlier fermentation videos, that this is a process that really maximizes the nutritional potency of ingredients. EGCG is the super powerful antioxidant that's contained within green tea. It's what makes it so awesome. Honestly, I've never come across a product like this before and I will treasure it especially because it just wasn't cheap and I got this at the Lotte Duty Free so it comes at about 20 to 40 dollars less than um, I've seen on other sites. I've actually been quite sparing about the way I use this. I actually don't want to use it every single day because I feel like it's already going down too too quickly for my liking. I also got Belif's True Decoction Shaking Water because it looked really interesting. This is a toner slash essence. It's basically two essences in one. One of them is milky, the other one is not. You shake it to mix it together before you apply it on your skin. This is a calendula milky essence with a more regular antioxidant berry essence. This is quite thin and milky. It's not really heavy. It sinks into the skin immediately, but leaves your skin feeling very well conditioned. This has that really nice signature belief herbal scent to it. And I actually feel like this is a great multitasking product, particularly in the summer or if you have oilier skin. This um, doesn't just hydrate, it leaves your skin feeling a little moisturized as well. I'm a big fan of CMP Labs, another one of those brands that's just really ingredient focused great products, great ingredients, and reasonably priced. I really love their ampoules, and I hadn't tried this one yet, which is their Mugener ampoule. This is their intensive soothing ampoule. In fact, a lot of the products that I did buy on this trip was very much focused on um, spring sensitive skin and post acid treatments, post retinol treatments. So I didn't hesitate with this because I've heard so many incredibly great things about it. This has all those soothing, healing, anti-inflammatory um, plant extracts in it. It's got metacasticide, which is from seed buckthorn which is great at healing burnt skin. It also has the hydrating pairing of sodium hyaluronate plus uh, panthenol, B5, beta-glucan, all that great stuff. This is very hydrating, very soothing on the skin. I got this serum from Beyond the Remedy, which I'm pretty sure I got at LOHB and not at Olive Young. I could be mistaken. It was one of the two. So Beyond the Remedy is a brand that has all plant-based and herbal products. In fact, it's owned by LG. And LG has a lot of these great brands under their umbrella, including Belif. In fact, this kind of reminds me of Belif a little bit in, in, in its herbalness. So this is their Dandelion Root Milky Oil Serum, and I was sort of explaining in my last video about how much I'm really into these emulsion-type serums lately. I kind of feel like you're getting the best of both worlds. They're usually mixed in just the right proportion. So on the skin, it's not oily or heavy. So this is all about the dandelion root and the sap that usually comes from it is very milky. It's actually great for combination skin as well as acne prone, sensitive. It's also great for eczema. It's antimicrobial, antifungal and anti acne causing bacteria. This is super light, it absorbs really fast and it's multitasking as well. So if you don't wanna layer heavier moisturizers over this, this leaves your skin feeling moisturized. This also has a really nice natural sort of herbal, almost medicinal scent, but it's pleasant, I, well, I like it. 
Let's move on to myths because I, I, I got quite a few. So let's start off with this one from Som37. This is another one of their newer products that just came out. If you guys were watching me since last year, then you'll know I have a deep love for their secret essence. So if I see a secret essence mist, I'm getting it. I got this at the Latte at Duty Free, so it actually comes like this. I get these two bottles. This whole thing was $34 US, which is a lot less than what I expected. I mean, I'm loving this mist already. It's so lightweight. It's so refreshing. Um, I actually have not been able to find the full ingredients list of this, so I don't know how this differs from the actual Secret Essence. The sales girl told me that it's the same formula, but I, I don't, I'm not sure because I know that is, you know, not inexpensive. So the next mist I think is an Australian brand, but it's part of the Huamisa group. So it's a Huamisa made product. The brand is called Awesome, as in A-U-S, Australia, and then O-M-E. It's natural, it's organic, and much like the other Huamisa products, this has no pure water in it. It's based in aloe vera extract. This is a biphase mist, and again, you can see where my preferences lie. I think I just fell in love so much with the Manufactory Rosehip Oil Mist that now, um, th and I found this really intriguing, but also it's Huamisa. I've actually mentioned before that Huamisa mists aren't my favorite because there's a good amount of alcohol in them, and they tend to sting my skin sometimes. This is completely different and has none of that. This is actually a pure mist. It's absolutely lovely again full of all those plant extracts and oils and um, I think this is mainly jojoba oil here so it's a good balancing oil it doesn't feel like there's a lot of oil it's very light on your skin much like the um, rosehip oil mist you don't get a sense that you're spraying oil on your face it's like you're just spraying a regular mist on your face but it just adds that extra greatness what I absolutely love about the ingredients list here is that it actually states that the bergamot they use here bergamot's a citrus oil is bergaptine free. So the part of the bergamot oil that can cause phototoxicity has been removed. And I love that they actually put that information in here. Informative insee lists are so impressive to me. So yeah, to use this, you shake it up and the mister on this is really nice actually. The mister, I got two other mists from a really new brand that I saw that's making quite a, an impact and it's called V-Proof. They have a freestanding store in Myeongdong and it's pretty irresistible. This is a very ingredients-focused brand again. Each product they have has so many options available for each and every skin type concern you can imagine, which is very smart because choosing just one is just, it's not gonna happen. So I got the Green Refresh Mist, and again, I fell in love with the ingredients in here. It's pretty much all Saccharomyces ferment filtrate, um, green tea extract, aloe vera. The mister on this is light as a cloud, which I love. It's a gentle cloud descending on your face. And then I got their yellow nourishing mist because again, it's the ingredients list. I mean, we have come so far beyond thermal mineral water at this point. So this follows the pattern of my obsession. This is a biphase mist. The oil used in here is vitamin tree oil, which we also know as sea buckthorn, which is, you know, great for oily skin. It's great for healing skin. It's also got beta-glucan. It's got some turmeric in it, um, aloe, sodium hyaluronate, um, ginseng, just, it's just, so I didn't stop at that with V-Proof because they have this whole line of creams. I only have a few here. There were so many and it was, it was, I had to control myself because it's kind of like the ordinary where they're focused on one ingredient that targets a specific skin concern. So one of the most popular ones is this dust defense cream. It has an SPF 30. And because yellow dust, the yellow dust period is, is a major deal. It really gets into your skin and it clogs up your pores and it just wrecks complete havoc. And this cream is a protective shield against that. I also have their multivitamin healthy cream. This has 2.4% of skin loving vitamins in it, but it also contains sea buckthorn oil, panthenol, and elatoin. <laughs> the texture of this is out of this world for me. It's like putting sherbet, cream sherbet on your skin, if that's even a thing. But it's that lightweight and it's that hydrating. I also got their Rose Veil Cream because that's another one of their top sellers. And I'm sorry, I can't find it right now. I, I just can't find it. But I got it because I love Rose. However, I didn't end up liking it so much because it's actually a tone-up cream. I didn't realize that. And what tone-up means um, in Korean cosmetics is not that it sort of tones up your, the muscles of your face. It's more about skin tone. So tone-up creams kind of makes you go up a skin tone. Um, basically, in my opinion, that's sort of like a white cast. That gives an intense white cast. It's also quite thick in texture. It's like putting mineral sunscreen on your face, actually. I also got their Panthenol Banding Cream. And I have to say, I 
and I'm in love with the texture of this. It is just so light and super hydrating. Oh, but I got samples of the Rhodiola Power Cream because this is supposed to be great for sensitive skin. And if your skin is sensitized um, through weather changes or whatever, this is supposed to be really good at balancing it back out and strengthening it. The rest are sheet masks. So as far as they go, um, I got these ones from CMP Labs. These are all two-step sheet masks, which means they either have an ampoule that you apply before you apply the sheet mask on, or they actually have a peeling, like a, a peeling gel and then a sheet mask. This one I'm really excited to try. I also got the Neogen Knit Mask because I've been wanting to try this for a really long time. I got this gold contour mask from Lindsay. I am so excited to try this out because it's basically two masks that you have to apply. And if you're familiar with um, Lindsay, I've actually done quite a few videos on their molding masks, their rubber masks. So the first mask you put on is an elastic essence sheet. And then the second one is a gold contouring sheet. Anyway, this will look interesting at least. I got this one from Mira Clinic. It's also a contouring mask. So the first layer is an ample mask and then you've got a contouring mask that you apply over that. And then when you take it off, it comes off in just like a 3D mold of your face. Let me know if you want to see these in action. I also have this Propolis Melting Essence Hydrogel Mask. I This looks interesting. I got the Make Prem Safe Me Release Mask um, that's only 15 ingredients. And I got this one from Mediheal, which is their uh, air packing pink wrap mask. So this is basically full masking technology, which is similar to the Estee Lauder um, one because it also contains 70% Bifidia filament filtrate. But honestly, I got it because it's millennial pink too. I got two Japanese products. This one is the limited edition Rose Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. Biore sunscreens are some of my favorites. So this one, you know, I, I have to get I got, The other thing I got is from Kanibo. It's their Beauty Whip Cleanser. Now I got this not necessarily to use on my face, but I'm using this to use on the rest of me for this one reason. I mean, look at it. Look at the way this dispenses. Just another way for shower time to be more fun. So the other thing that I got, and I got this online, is this incredible thing. It's a shower head, the Soul Stone shower head. So it has all these negative ionized mineral spheres that will completely purify your water, get rid of anything undesirable, chlorine, anything that's harsh on your skin. I actually got this because it was recommended by a scalp specialist to be just so much better for your hair and your scalp. And I'm having some major scalp issues. So anyway, that's TMI. But what really sold me on this, and when you're watching the demos, you realize how much it increases water pressure. Water pressure in New York City is regulated, which is a good thing, but you, you don't get like that satisfying. So guys, that's it for my skincare haul from Seoul. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me review in more depth. And thank you for watching as always. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.